Exercise 2.28. Determine the components of the vector RAB minus RBC. Well, what I'd like to do is to first solve the exercise ASAP and then explain what was needed for me to solve it. Right? So, RAB is going to be equal to this vector, which is 2 meters on the i direction the vector rbc is equal to this other vector here you have a 90 degrees angle a 60 and a 30 which means that i have two cosine of 60 right here plus 2 sine of 60 right here rbc is equal to 1 plus square root of 3 right here we're going to check that 2 cosine of 60 is equal to 1, 2 sine of 60 square root of 3. Right. Now the final answer will be RAB minus RBC, which is equal to 2 minus 1. 1, 0, minus the square root of 3, minus the square root of 3, on the j direction. This is in meters. Right here we have our final answer. Now, what was needed? The first thing is that, right here we have an hexagonal shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 sizes. Now, between every single one of them to the one that follows, I'm going to have 2 meters. Which means that from here till here, 2 meters, right here, and so forth. Which means that the magnitude of AV and BC is going to be the same one, too. Now, for when we are looking for the vector RAB, this is pretty important, we have to take into account the order of the letters. Because it is different for us to use AB than BA, because of the direction of the vector. Now, this is the vector AB. The vector BA would be this one. For when we are talking about vectors we only care about magnitude and duration, right? So right here we have two units, two units along the i direction, which is related to the x-axis, right? This is in meters, of course. <clears throat> now we're going to look for the vector RBC. So the vector RBC is this one. This vector could be divided into two components this one and this one as you can see both of them are pointing towards the same direction of the axis that means that they are going to be positive for example this component is going to be positive and this component is going to be positive why am I pointing those components towards that direction. Remember, for well, when you have a summatory of vectors, for example, this tree, all you have to do is to create a resultant shape, which is going to be this one. The requirement that has to be met is that the tail must be touching the head of the other. 
us right here. Now, the result is going to be the other way around. Right here, we will have that detail is going to be touching the tail of one of the corner vectors and the head with the other. Head with head, tail with tail. That means that the two components for this vector would be this one and this one. See? This tail is touching this head. And the resultant vector is tail with tail and head with head. That is why. Now, all we have to do is find that those two components. This magnitude and this magnitude. For when we are talking about an adjacent angle, right here I have 60 degrees. Why do you have 60 degrees right there? Well, because right here I have an, an horizontal line, right? I'm going to do it in blue. Horizontal line. Right here I have a 90 degrees angle. Which means that right here as well I have 90 degrees angle. So, all I have to do is to say that because of the divisions right here, I'm going to have 360 degrees divided by 6. So, let me show you. Right here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I would be able to have 360 divided by 6. And that means that right here I have 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. All right. So because of I have 60 degrees right here, that means that it should be 30. Because of 90 minus 60. Now, the summatory of the angles within a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So, 90 plus 30 plus 60 is equal to 180. So, that means right here I have 60. The other explanation would be because right here I have 60, that means that right here I have 60 as well. All right? So, we are looking for these magnitudes. We are going to use cosine because this is the adjacent angle of the magnitude that I'm looking for. The adjacent means that the angle is touching one of the, um, of the other parts of the triangle, of the catheters, sorry, I was looking for that word, of the catheters of the angle, of the triangle, sorry, which is not the hypotenuse. Right here I have the hypotenuse, right here I have one catheters, and right here the other. Now, the catheters that I'm looking for is that Jason because it's touching the angle. The other one is not touching the angle, that means that it's the opposite. So, for the adjacent, I always use cosine, and for the opposite, I always use sine. So, this part would be the hypotenuse multiplied by the cosine of the angle. Hypotenuse multiplied by the cosine of the angle. And the other part, which is this magnitude, is going to be equal to the hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of the angle, of the opposite angle. Right now, this is equal to 1 and this is equal to the square root of 3. I direction, J direction. All right, now all we have to do is to subtract the components that are along the same axis. So right here we have this and this. 
so I only would be able to subtract two one because they are along the same direction so two minus one is equal to one now I don't have any component for the j direction which is related to the y-axis that means that right here I have zero along this direction so zero min minus the square root of three is equal to the two minus the square root of three and this is in meters that would be all guys this is how you can solve this exercise